can't I can't believe a word that comes out of their mouth, and and, and I'm really on the fence about going. I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. Are it's you are you contractually to obligated to go? Do you have to go? I think in the contract. I, I think that I am obligated to go, unless I have a further, unless I have something in my job or, or some kind of personal reason um, that you know enables me where I can't go. But, okay, I see. But I you, you don't have any gigs this weekend to where that would prevent actually, you from going out. I actually do have, a, I, I do have gigs this weekend. I had one on Friday, and uh, I had one on Saturday, but I, I moved it because they said that I had to be there. But the more that I think about it, the more I don't know that that I that I want to be there. It's, it, it's really weird, man. I, it, like I said, it's a catch-22. I have no clue what, what I'm going to do. Now, if... if if all this happened and you're saying, you know, it did, and, and what is being shown on TV is not what is actually being said, all the examples that we had gone over earlier, do you have any recourse to go after the show for defamation of character, or did you pretty much sign that all away the minute you signed your contract? Oh, the minute I, I signed my contract, it's, uh, it's, I have nothing. Yeah. I, I can't do anything. I can't protect myself. I can't, uh, hell, I don't even know if I could be talking to you right now. I mean, it's, <laughs> You know, I've, they've canceled my ABC conference call, you know, because they obviously they don't want me to talk because they know that I'm going to say, hey, you know, this is BS. Yeah. And I, I don't think they want the world to know what they're doing. Yeah. And, um, but, you know, the gloves are off right now. I mean, they, they came at me, you know, they came at, at, at people that I care about, you know, well, she's not my girlfriend, but I still care about her well-being. I still care about her safety. And, um, uh, you know, the way that they did my family at the, at the hometown date, uh, I mean, it was all, it was all wrong. Well, when, and, when you say they did your family like that, just making them wait because the whole Jake thing postponed well, my, everything? My, my, well, my family had been there for, since 4 o'clock waiting on me, and I didn't make it out there until 12, uh, a, a little before 12, and uh, they didn't want my family, they had set up, you know, a big barbecue, because, you know, in Texas, we got to have some barbecue. You know, they had everything catered, um, they were excited, and then, you know, hours go on, hours go by, and my, my parents were like, you know, insisted, like, hey, we're hungry, we want to eat, and they, they wouldn't let them eat. They wouldn't let them do anything. All they wanted them to do was drink. They were like, hey, well, don't, don't get anything to eat here. Here's a drink. You know, sit down and have a drink. And <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, be honest with them. Let them know what's going on. You know, if they want to, if they want to eat something, they hadn't eaten all day, all night. Yeah. Give them something to eat. It's like, what's, you know? the, what's the harm in letting your family have a bite to eat? I mean, I don't even get, I mean. It, yeah, exactly. You know what? I just think that they wanted them drunk so they would do something, stu something stupid and make me look like a hillbilly or, you know, some uneducated redneck. I, I, that's what I think. Yeah, no, it, 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 that's what it sounds like. And, and I know you are not only disappointed in the way you were shown on the show, but also like you had mentioned earlier, what has happened to Laurel out of all this, um, the fact that other people um, who obviously have found out who she is down in Austin have been have been threatening her with with phone calls and emails, I mean, that's got to – it's crossing the line. And, and, yeah. I, and you've gone to the Bachelor producers about it, but what have they said about it? When you, yeah. said, when you said, I told you not to use Laurel's name, and you did, what is their response? Their response, their, their response is just nonchalant. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I know, you know, I understand, I know, I know. I mean, they're not being rude about it, but you, but they really don't care. You know, they don't, they don't care about me. They don't care about Laurel. You know, they care about that almighty dollar. They, they care about keeping their job. And here's the deal. I told them, I was like, they're going to know she is. The very, very next day, People Magazine called her work. Yeah. You know, I mean, how fast? They found her just, it, it, it just, it, it shocks me. And she's got people from all over, you know, Canada and, and the United States, you know, threatening her, you know, calling her business, calling her all hours of the night, calling her a bitch, you know, a whore, a this or that. I know where you work. I know where your business is. I mean, these people that are believing this show, there's got to be something wrong with them, man. I mean, yeah. For them, for them to go after somebody, I mean, this is a TV show. It's, it's, uh, 
my deal is this. Hey, if this thing is real, I want to see Jillian get married at the end of it. That's what I want to see. I want to see a marriage, and I want to see it last for at least three years. <laughs> well, I, I don't I don't think we'll hold our breath for that to happen. Probably not. Probably not in our lifetime, but, um, you know, I, I think it's, I think people that do do that, um, uh, have crossed the line. Uh, you know, we had an interview with Diana Pappas, uh, the last bachelorette, uh, on a couple weeks ago, uh, and people took the liberty, uh, to start calling her work, uh, for the television show that she works for, uh, and crucifying her and telling her, telling their, her bosses that she should be fired, and, you know, what, what kind of person do you have that, that bashes her ex boyfriend. This was even before the interview I did with her even aired, and she didn't even say anything bad about the guy. So, I understand uh, how this can get completely blown uh, out of proportion, and and the fact that they're going after Laurel, uh, and, and even after the interview that Laurel did with People, where she defended you, and she's like, "No, he's not my boyfriend. We, Wes is a great guy. We're friends, but we were not together before the show. We weren't together during the show. We're not together now." That they right. still take the, that they still take the liberty to go out and and do this to her, uh, that kind of sucks. And, and you know, there are those out there, most namely, you know, former bachelorette Trista Sutter. I don't know if you – if you she writes a blog for a website um, that just recaps every episode. And, you know, in this past week, she called you the filth of the earth, conceited, inarticulate, and ill-mannered. Now, obviously, you know, when you go on these shows, you are opening yourself up to criticism. But is it right. is it kind of hard not to take something like that to heart? Well, you know, I don't know much about her. I don't even think I know what she looks like. I, I didn't watch the, the Bachelorette, but yeah, it was the first I mean, one. It was probably six or seven years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, she's got, she's got the right to believe whatever she wants to believe. I mean, hell, Steve, there's still people out there that think wrestling's real. So she can believe whatever. No, I, I don't think it's real. Hell, maybe it is. Yeah. But uh, she's got the right to believe whatever she wants to believe. But for somebody to have gone on a TV show to know what they do to these people on a TV show, and to still, you know, say those things about another human being, I mean that that shows a lot about her character as well. And um. Uh, I think she's probably got issues that she needs to deal with before she needs to talk about somebody else. I, I would never say anything bad. I mean, this whole conversation, if I said anything bad about anybody. No. no. All, all you did was say that uh, Jake was a couple pancakes short of a stack. That was about. Yeah. That's about the only thing that I can, that was remotely negative, and that was because he thought that God told him to go back to the hotel room. And right. <laughs> and you know what? I, I, I'm just not that kind of person that, like to belittle people or, you know, uh, I, I just, she can, she can say whatever she wants to say. I have no comment for that. I just, I just think that, that, um, that she's, she's probably a real sweetheart in real life. Uh, if you had to do this all over again, Wes, knowing what you know now, um, do you think that any added publicity that this show gave Wes Hayden, the musician, was worth the public flogging that you've essentially gotten? Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I, I mean, the, the publicity that I've gotten from these guys is is awful. And um, But now, you know, the, the good thing about it is, you know, you know, I'm, they've already done everything they could possibly do to me. I mean, they've basically, you know, made me to be somebody I'm not. They, they basically edited the, the crap out of me. So the only place that I can do is go up from here. And the good thing is, is I've got people like you and, and that, that will give me the time to tell my story and to say, say exactly what really happened and to, you know, kind of defend myself and come across to people as a human being, not as something that, not as someone who's been edited into one little bitty sentence of hours and hours and hours of videotape. So, you know, the people now can judge for themselves when they meet me. You know, when we hang out, they can they can say, okay, Wes is a jerk. Or they can say, you know what, Wes is pretty cool. I like that guy. Yeah. And it's up to the people now. But, you know, I really appreciate people like yourself and uh, other people that I've spoken to that, that are, you know, that have an open mind. They're not, you know, cru- 